At least 50 cents, Gilman. <laughs> 80. 80 cents. Yes, Familiar Faces Week is here. And we thought we'd bring you one of the most recognizable television faces. Let's see him in action a few years ago. Not a few kinds, like supermarkets. Time to make the donuts. But up to 52 varieties. The donuts. <laughs> Time to make the donuts. I made the donuts. <laughs> yeah, that was 14 years ago. Still making the donuts. Here's Michael there. Time to make the, the donuts. donuts. Yes. <laughs> nice to see you. Hi, Hello, sweetie. welcome. Hi, thank yes. you. Have a seat thank right you. here, Michael. Wow. I read a statistic, Reach. It said if um, if all the donuts that have been made were placed side by side, they would go around the earth twice. Is that true? I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> Four I'm million a day. Four million a day. Yeah. How, how many years now? Fourteen? I'm in my fourteenth year. Fourteenth year. And yep. before that, you did a commercial for a long time, right? Yes. yes. Sam Breakstone, remember the yeah. tire guy? I was Sam Breakstone. He yelled a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was for what, 18 years? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you, you get good gigs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Long running gigs. I can yell when called upon. Now, do a lot of people recognize you when they see you in the street? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Everybody, everybody's got a why. Hey, why was your donuts? Yes. Yeah. Right, right. I get it from all sides. Mm. Now, did you have to audition for this job? Yep. yep. What was there were like? about 300 uh, character actors up for it. A couple of callbacks and uh, lucky and at the right time, at the right place, and it worked. Now, how many of these commercials do you make a year? <clears throat> uh, on average, I would say about 10, 12. Really? That's yeah, one a month, yeah. it seems, almost. Um, pretty much, yeah. yeah. Now, are you <clears throat> exclusive to, to Dunkin' Donuts, or can you do uh, other commercials? Uh -huh. No, I can't do any new commercials. Can you make movies? Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. You just can't no represent any other products. Exactly. Uh -huh. yeah. So you've always been a commercial actor then, even the Sam yeah. Breakstone before that. Yeah. 32 yeah. years between those two spots. Right, right. And I, uh, I've done, I would say, over 1,100 on-camera commercials. No kidding. Yep. And what was the first one? Do you remember that one? Yes, I do. I played a bottle of beer. <laughs> you were a bottle of beer. I was a bottle of beer. Yeah. Is that tough? <laughs> oh, very. The first one is always the biggest. Yeah. You know. And what, what beer was that? It was Utica beer. Upstate, Upstate New York. New York. Uh -huh. Right, right. Good for you. Isn't what it? made you want to get into commercials? Well, I was a stage actor and uh, did a lot of theater work here in New York, Broadway, Off-Broadway, Summer Theater, touring companies. And at that time, around 1965, there was a big exodus to to California yeah. and a lot of actors went there mm -hmm. now fortunately I stayed and that's about when commercials came in mm -hmm. which is always a big industry here in New York yeah well at that point commercials were the number one source of income for the Screen Actors Guild in, in New York yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so you've always been a New York guy right that's right yeah. grew up in Brooklyn yes uh-huh had an interesting babysitter for your children with your yes son. <coughs> yeah kind of interesting I, I wonder what happened to her I don't know um, who was it Barbara Streisand babysat uh -huh. for my little boy really yes. she must have been a little girl at the time she too. was 16 uh-huh and I used to walk her home she a few blocks away and one day she came up to us to babysit, and she said, uh, could I bring a friend of mine up to design a dress? I just won a contest. And the prize was one week's paid engagement at $125. And um, it was a big thing then, because I was paying her a buck an hour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she needed a new dress for the engagement. Right, right, so he came up, a young Chinese boy, and they used our sewing machine. and. Um, she borrowed a red pair of shoes that my wife had, <laughs> and she never returned them. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. She's watching every See what morning. I mean? Why did you tell her to I you? want those shoes. <laughs> <laughs> or no more donuts for her. Right. <laughs> Wasn't too soon after that that uh, her Broadway break came, I guess. Yeah, yeah she went, uh, she started off Broadway and then Broadway and... Uh, that's yeah. what happens. Nice so story. you're responsible yeah. for her career, basically. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Now, 
<laughs> you, you can tell us the truth, Michael. Do you eat many of these Dunkin' Donuts? Yes, I do. Really? Yes, and drink the coffee, eat do, all the donuts. Do you have a favorite donut? Uh, no, actually, I don't have any favorites. They're, They're like my children. children. <laughs> They're like my children. <laughs> I love them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah, different, yeah, but you yeah. love them all. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. funny. Well, you know, we showed a little bit of, of your, one of your early spots there in, in the introduction. And this is what, the latest? Yeah. The latest one? Part right, of the latest Let's take one. a look now at the Michael Vale in action now, the Dunkin' Donuts movie. So if you want to chill out on a hot day, come to Dunkin' Donuts for a refreshing cup of our delicious iced coffee. It's very cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. Chill out again. Hey, familiar faces week has begun. You can't stop us now. Candace <laughs> Cameron coming up next. And Michael, thank you very, very much. Good luck. Very nice to see you. Stay tuned all week to meet some familiar faces from your favorite TV commercials. Don't miss the cheer guy, Wendy the Snapple Lady, and the Diet Coke hunk, Lucky Vance. And hopefully the funk will come out. I love working when you don't pay the bill. Uh oh. Here's the first part of trouble tonight. Time to make the donuts. You look very familiar. Why are you here, sir? Why are you here? I'm here to eat the donuts. You are? Yes. Well, thank goodness you're serving coffee these days. I guess he knew that you had such a hard night last night. Yes, I need a good cup of black something. coffee. That was a wonderful Can we eat show. the donut? Are they real? Please. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. This is great. Fred the Baker mm -hmm. from Dunkin' Donuts. Mm -hmm. Have a donut. Do you eat donuts? <laughs> You are so cute in real life. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's <laughs> All right, you we'll be right me. back with Peter Hamill, Dunkin' Donuts, the coffee, maybe our guests on the phone, and Michael McCarty. If you would like to speak with Peter, please call us at 212-967-7397. If you want the donut man to come to your house, call us and we'll send him right over. Ooh. Stay with us. We'll be right back with more Talking Food in just a moment. And when we... Time to make the donuts. Yeah? D Is you this one of Abe Beam's judges, or what? No, I, I think, I think, I think uh, Fred was actually, uh, uh, for 15 minutes, the owner of the New York Post at some point. <laughs> no, I would have worked for him. No, but when, when we come back, we'll talk to Pete about more on the drinking and if he remembered who this man was. <laughs> anyway, if you would like to talk to Pete Ham or the great writer, you can telephone us at 212-967-7397. Kate is in the kitchen with Mike, Michael McCarty from Michael's here on West 55th Street in New York City. And they're going to be cooking up and serving up some incredible taste treats. More on talking food when we return in just a moment. Stay with us. All right, when we return, there's even more with time Pete Hamp. To, time to, time to Have, eat, eat the donut. I'm, I'm sick to death of the, let's <laughs> Did you see this hand shaking? I, I, I noticed that. Did you have a good night last night? I have a Heavy. book for you. You should read this book. Read, read the last chapter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd, like, um, I'd like some coffee, actually, Fred. Sure thing. All right. Okay, while well, Fred's pouring us his delicious new Dunkin' Donuts coffee. God, this is blatant publicity, isn't it? We'll be back in just a moment. Meantime, Kate's in the kitchen cooking up a storm with Michael McCarty from Michael's right here. They are making soft shell crabs, which are fresh in season, with giant capers and beurre blanc. Not to be confused with giant soft shell crabs. And <laughs> what does it matter? Fred, go over there and give them some kitchen coffee. We'll be right back in just a moment with more talking food. Stay with us. All right, you are looking at us looking at the soft shell crabs. Now, why the word giant in this uh, giant capers? What's the difference between a tiny caper and a giant caper? Normally, the capers that are normally grown are these little tiny things that look like pellets you know, right. that you get out of a shotgun. And I found these giant ones when I was in Spain, and they're like, they're almost 10 times bigger than a normal and caper. And what do they do to the... They're just a sweeter caper. They're not, a more, they're not the bitter kind of a thing. And they just, it's a better taste. All right. Thank you for telling us. Peter, do you think we should uh, take a little taste of the soft shell cram? I'm going to pour some of the wine from the Malibu Vineyard, which Michael McCarty and his uh, wife 
press and uh, they grow the grapes and press. We've got Pellegrino for Peter Hamill and we've got Dunkin' Donuts coffee for Fred. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever eaten a donut, Fred? Oh, yes. Yeah. Do, you have, um, do you have a favorite donut? Well, actually, uh, I don't have any favorites. Um, they're like my children. I love them all equally. You do? Mm. Oh. Ah, isn't that sweet? <laughs> now, what are you holding in your hands? I have Michael's cookbook. That looks... Michael's cookbook. That's right. And I have it. But it's for yeah. all of us, right? It's for everybody. <laughs> Michael, what, what, what kind of food are you talking about? Well, it? what I try to do is California-style food. Lots of vegetables, lots of greens, very simple preparation. And the great thing about the cookbook is I have my entire art collection in it. Yeah, I was just going to say, like you have in your restaurants. Absolutely. So we, we have the photos of the food and the art, both in the book. Do you have any art, any mm -hmm. food art? We have just great, my wife paints fabulous scenes of people eating and drinking. Right. Great party scenes. Right. So it's sort of, if you look closely, you'll see the errant lobster or something there. But there now, is. Peter, I'm not being sarcastic and I'm not being fresh, but how do you party these days? I sit down and watch the Knicks. <laughs> <laughs> I love this and game. see who's sitting in the celebrity row. Oh, really? <laughs> do you? <laughs> I know who that's directed at. But, um... I mean, when people offer you drink, how do you how do you say no? no Is I it difficult? Uh, I don't drink, and you have Pellegrino, right, or whatever. Well, you know, I, I raised my mm. favorite. I raised my glass to you. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost my glass. No, there it is. Oh, there oh, it is. That's right, because Fred's got his coffee. Fred's got his coffee. Salute. Hey, Salute. Excellent. Salute. How is it? How, how does a, a soft shell donut sound to you, Fred? <laughs> it's an idea. It an is? Idea. That's all it is. Do you, we, uh, do you ever get excited, Fred, about anything other than donuts? Not lately. No? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this guy? Where do we find him? Anyway, you're, pr you're wandering around the country giving away free donuts because you're telling everybody Dunkin' Donuts now serves great exactly. coffee. Oh, yes. Right? Oh, yes. It's well, fabulous. We'll, all, we'll meet for you with you for breakfast in the morning, all right? I'll be there. All right. <laughs> Michael, we are so glad that you came. Cheers. You had a great night at the Food Awards last night. It was wonderful. You did a fabulous well, job. Well, thank you. I didn't mm -hmm. say it for that reason. Oh, Peter, no, good luck with the success thanks. of the book. Thanks. Yeah. Great. Great having you here. Katie, as always, you know I'm off for a few days. I know. Time Have for me fun. to take a breather after what I went through last night. Uh -huh. Anyway, tomorrow night, Tony Hendra, Spy Magazine, will be sitting in my chair. And he'll be talking with Claudia Shear, the star of the one-woman show on Broadway, Blown Sideways Through Life, which is how I felt about last night. <laughs> Time for me to take off for Antigua. See you in a week. Good night, everybody. Great. Since 1917, the Salvation Army has been bringing a touch of home to our soldiers overseas. Volunteers served coffee and donuts right on the battlefield. The Donut Day program began as a way to boost the morale of our troops serving under harsh battle conditions. After you're getting bombed out of your homes and, and uh, buildings being leveled, I mean, they have somebody come along and, and risk their life to give you some coffee and donuts. That would mean a lot to the people that were receiving it. This year, the Salvation Army enlisted the nation's largest donut chain to help feed the hungry and the homeless. The Donut Day program is one of the fundraising sources of the Salvation Army to support its work and ministry. In 1990, the Salvation Army provided some 50 million meals to hungry people in the United States of America. As part of Donut Day, thousands of volunteers are on the streets collecting money to support Salvation Army programs such as emergency shelters and substance abuse counseling. By giving, you also receive a Donut Day hang tag entitling the bearer a special discount and the satisfaction of knowing you're helping others. Does help the homeless? Yes, it does. Thank I'm you. grateful to have the opportunity to feed them donuts. Nothing can match the feeling of helping others, but on Donut Day, giving can be a little sweeter. This is Alan Laughlin reporting.